Okay, guys, good morning. My name is Nayala, and I will finish uh, to discuss about our project. Our children company was lessons. And before I start uh, the discussion, I would like to ask for the ladies here. <laughs> no, just <laughs> don't be afraid to fun. I will not ask if nothing that hard. If any girl here uh, had already purchased any Glassons product? Yeah. No? Tapana, Tapana. Tapana. Yeah? Just, can you just hold your arm, please? One, two, three, four, four ladies here. Okay. I will, I will be in the point later on. So. Today, I'm gonna talk about uh, the brand analysis plan of glasses. In my presentation, I will give a brief um, introduction about our company, and later I'm gonna talk about the market program that uh, glasses have been applied. So, glasses is a well-known company that sells uh, fashion clothes for uh, young people. But the, the question that I asked before is because even though it's for young people, you can see more elderly women <laughs> are purchasing the products. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> I don't want to buy there now. <laughs> it's starting in Christchurch. It is starting in Christchurch. And at the beginning, its goal it was spread in the South Island. But because of its su success, now uh, they have here in all New Zealand and also in Australia. Uh, at the beginning, uh, the goal. They would like to be recognized as a woman um, clothes that's cheap, but nowadays they would like to be recognized that uh, they're gonna do they're gonna deliver a sustainability clothes and with affordable price as well. Uh, the the another thing that I would like to say is uh, the company decided to develop the online selling in uh, 2011. now I'm going to talk about the market program. First of all, uh, I'm going to talk about some market tools that the company are using after uh, the product, its product strategy and at the end the distribution channels. So first of all, what is the objective of the marketing um, tools? is to be uh, in touch with the, its customers and win smart customer, retain the others, and expand uh, its sales. We started with the personalized market. Uh, its objective is to attract potential marketing. And how the company is uh, using this strategy, this marketing tool, sorry. First, they are suggesting clothes sending emails uh, after you go to its website and they do like uh, analysis and which kind of clothes you you see and then they send to you an email um, giving suggestions about clothes that you searched before another way that they do this uh, is um, doing survey feedbacks how they do this when you um, do this survey, they draw you to win uh, some benefits. In this case that we see, uh, they draw uh, $100 of voucher. Regarding the permission-based market, is to create trust, is to create um, value with the customers, 
is to respect the brand. The information based market, uh, in simple words, is just to make the customers know that they are allowed to do that they are not. In this case, the company is doing uh, how can they are applying about this email. When they send an email, uh, it has a tag that it can unsubscribe. So you don't need to receive more emails for the company. Regarding the permission-based market, uh, the objective is to make the customers fans of the brand and how the customers are using this. For example, in its Instagram, they have a highlight talking about its customers. They put on the its customers the spotlight and they will represent a model of the company. So in this image, we can see a normal woman that is acting like a, a model for the brand. And with this, they also try to make the customers go to its website to purchase any products. Regarding the mobile marketing, uh, consisting uh, the use of SMS marketing, Bluetooth, QR codes, and how they are doing this. Glasses when you're going to its stores, they ask you your email so they can send a message and number, and she also asks your phone number to you be always connected with them. When some products arrive in the store, they say, oh, this product arrived, do you wanna show this? Do you wanna come here and see more? Now I'm gonna talk about the product strategy of glasses. Regarding the perceived value, we are talking about uh, what is the per perception of the customers about this product. And then they can evaluate the benefits to purchase or not this product. So how the company is trying to understand its customers, how they try to understand how their customers is perceiving uh, its values. They're uh, doing surveys, uh, and it's questions in the survey. They're trying to, to identify the group of people uh, who buy the most with the brand, which competitors the customers use most, and how often they buy in the stores. Regarding the total Total quality management uh, is how about the company try to get the excellence in its production because the product is not, uh, they try to understand the whole, um, the whole process the products are done since in the, the manufacturer to uh, customer's home. So we have some, uh, it's based on six pillars. The first one is the intrinsic quality, is uh, regarding the characteristics that add value to the product. For glasses, it's uh, intrinsic quality is related with the its sustainability. And so uh, they drive this strategy a lot. Regarding uh, the cost, it's, it's an HSP, it's about um, the financial expense of the production. So for this point, how Glassons need to pay attention? They need to pay attention about the taxation because they're not just produced here in New Zealand, it's also in Australia. And they need to pay attention in the laws, in this kind of things. And also, because they always try to be sustainable sustainable, eco-friendly, the how much cost to get the certification uh, sustainability. And also the cost of the training employees. Regarding the service, um, we can talk about this and how the company will, how much the company will spend to prepare its employees. The company has um, a lot of um, training programs 
to be to the employees always be uh, updated in the news. Regarding security, we talking about in two ways. Uh, involve customers and also involves uh, employees. Regarding customer, we are talking about the environment so that we are going to purchase its, comp its uh, products. So, um, for this, is to make sure they will buy online, for example, with using a safe website. And about its employees, is to guarantee a safe environment with no discrimination and a, a place that they will like to work. Uh, about this moral, uh, the moral organization is uh, related with the satisfaction of its customers and of and employees. For customers, how their company are doing, as I've told you before, they're doing survey and they always try to understand what the vision uh, of its, uh, its, its customers. And about employees, employees, uh, they always have um, meetings. If they, they're achieving goals to sales, if the team are working well, and so on. The sixth pillar, and the most important one, because it's a new trend, is about the environment. It's about the social responsibility that the company has. As we can see, the company sustainability uh, the market force of plasmos, and they're not just care about delivering clothes, but how they, they're packing this, not using plastic bags. They're trying to um, use in, bags that can be decomposed in the nature and don't cause any damage. Now I'm gonna talk about the product strategy. First, I'm gonna talk about the value pricing. The value pricing is the vision uh, that the customer will have and understand if you purchase or not this. The value, value pricing, how the company are using this strategy. Oh, sorry. They have a, a kind of uh, jeans, it's called mom jeans, and they know this is so important for its target marketing. So, this kind of pants they don't sell uh, in sales. It's so rare they do this. Other pants go to sales but mom jeans, no. And mommy jeans is almost 30% more the other pants. The everyday low price is like the strategy that consists of a fixed policy of low price. They do this during a season. They always do offers during the seasons that if the guy buy two products, uh, combine it, it will be cheaper than purchase just one. And the skin pricing, the, the skin strategy, strategy is like, uh, first, put a high price for a new product and gradually reduce how the company applying this. At the end of the season, the products are getting low and go to sales. And as we can see, some products have a discount of more than 60%. So they can, um, benefit of the, the selling of this clothes for a long period. Finally, I'm gonna talk about the distribution channels. And the channels could be uh, involved in two ways, direct and indirect. Direct channels is where the manufacturer sells directly to the final consumer. And I direct the channel is need to become for a, for a middle, middle way. In this case, when you're talking about the indirect, you're talking about to purchase the product in the store. 
because the product go to the manufacturer, they need to go to the store, and then go to the customer's house. This is the old way that the customer is doing. But there's a new trend that, that all companies are doing nowadays because of the use of the internet. So what the company are doing, and they are uh, putting all efforts in this, in this kind of uh, distribution, is the direct. So you're going to the website, you, you buy your clothes, and then go to your home. There is no middle, uh, no middle channel to go to your home. One interesting point of this is the COVID-19. They need to uh, focus a lot on this because people couldn't uh, go out and purchase their products. So uh, after they, they work, on the in this way of selling, uh, they increase its sales in almost forty seven percent. Forty seven percent. And twenty two percent of its revenues was due to online sales. And that's it. Any questions from there? Mm -hmm. no. Amazing. Well done. Good job, Nayla. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And who is next?